Hey everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Live. I'm Jack Canfield, your host. I'm here with Reno Solberg from Norway and many countries in Africa. He is uh, head of the uh, Better Globe Group. I love that name, we need a better globe. And he's got many, many companies underneath that um, umbrella. And he's also doing some wonderful work in Africa. He kind of committed his life to eradicating poverty and corruption in Africa. Uh, my brother-in-law used to be the uh, ambassador to two countries in Africa. I know that's not an easy task. So we're going to hear from someone who's taken on a, some big challenges and is having success. So welcome, Reno. Glad Thank to have you. Thank you very here. much, Jack. Thank you very much. So let's just start by, I mean, you've got a lot of stuff you can talk about, but just give us a little background on who you are and what some of your companies are and what you're about. Okay. Well, first and foremost, uh, I'm Norwegian and uh, I'm a serial entrepreneur for more than 50 years. And uh, when I was a young man, I invented a grinding machine for valves, gate valves. And uh, I had a production company in Norway. I had a daughter company in Japan, America, uh, UK and Germany, and agent in 20 countries. And today, probably 70, 80 percent of all the nuclear power plants in the whole world have my machines. Wow. So uh, I sold the company 30 years ago and went into the personal development field, which is your field. And uh, I've written 12 books. All of them are free downloadable on uh, renosolberbooks.com. Uh, and I also have given more than 1,000 seminars in leadership, sales, motivation, and personal development over the years. I've been a total quality management consultant and trained more than 150 companies in Norway and in, in Africa to be certified to the ISO 9000 standard, uh, you know, to for, get quality standards. And uh, I started Child Africa together with my wife, Julie, in 1991. And we have today uh, three schools in Africa. We have also helped more than 10,000 children there. And in 2004, I decided uh, I wanted to do something else. So I started the Better Globe Group with the Better Globe Forestry in uh, 2004. And that has changed my life. And that has a vision to eradicate poverty and corruption in Africa. And a mission uh, by um, social entrepreneurship, uh, plant as many trees as there are human beings on this planet wow. and thereby finance the sustainable implementation of the vision. That's beautiful. Now, here you are, you're, you're, you're in the technical world, the manufacturing world, the inventing world, and now you're in this human potential world and you're trying to eradicate two of the world's biggest problems, poverty and corruption, right. one causing the other is, uh, for sure. What was that moment when you decided to move into eradicating poverty and uh, eradicating corruption? What was the defining event or moment or thought that, that led you into that work? Well, it was actually when I was 60 years old in 2004. Mm -hmm. uh, I sat down, I, you know, I had four, at the time 40 years of experience from businesses. I felt I knew everything and uh, I wanted to do something else. And just to do more businesses uh, for the rest of our lives, uh, we, we anticipate being 100 years old, so I'm an optimist. So I said, what should I do the next 40 years of my life? Should I just do business for money's sake and at the best become the richest guy in the graveyard? <laughs> I didn't think that was something to look forward to. So I said to my wife, let's take on the biggest goal I can think of. Let's eradicate poverty and corruption in Africa. And uh, we started then uh, doing these things by, uh, by finding the way to do it. And I got inspired by uh, running Child Africa since 1991. We saw the poor people, the little we did and helped them a lot. Uh, that really inspired me. So I said, that's, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to eradicate poverty and corruption in Africa. However, I know for sure that nobody can ever eradicate totally corruption in Africa. I mean, you haven't done it in, in America even, right. so that is obvious. But we have the key, after 14 years we have the key to do it, and when we do it one family at a time and keep it up for 50 to 100 years, the face of Africa would change. That is my opinion. And obviously I also know that uh, there is no way that you can eradicate poverty by uh, handouts or charity. It must be done by business principles. And that means by social entrepreneurship, where everybody involved make money. Even the one who is financing the whole thing and the one who's getting it, they all make money and get sustainable. That's why I started the Better Globe Group in 2004. Uh, very impressive. Now, I know you have a number of companies and you have some new ones coming online or recently developed. Tell us a little about that. 
Well, uh, 14 years ago, we, we started, like I said, uh, Better Globe Forestry. And uh, today we have planted uh, 2 million trees in the pilot project. And 10 years from now, I'm aiming at planting 1 million trees each day wow. in order to reach our goal of 9 billion trees, as many people, uh, as many trees as there are people on the planet, by 2044 my 100th birthday, by the way. So uh, I'm hoping to, to do that. So this is what we have started to do. And uh, this is what we're going to continue to do. But one of our sales companies in Norway is Better Globe. They are approaching now 50,000 customers this year. And they are selling our only two uh, products, which are trees and donation packages. They, mm. they buy that on a regular basis uh, in a sort of a crowdfunding system, mm -hmm. which finance everything. And uh, obviously, what, what is good with the whole thing is that everybody makes money. And uh, the crowdfunding makes us fight poverty and corruption in Africa while the customers make money themselves. And the company is debt-free. Uh, we have no uh, outside investors. It's self-financed. And in fact, uh, this year, for the third year in a row, we were uh, awarded the Norwegian Gazelle Award for excellent financial growth and result. Mm -hmm. Financial Times awarded us the uh, 264 uh, out of the 1,000 fastest growing companies in Europe. Oh, congratulations. So, so thank you. That is, that is good. And another company that we have made is uh, what you call Trees for Real Estate. And can you imagine, Jack, if you buy a piece of real estate, uh, whatever the price is, uh, you will get 20% of that price saved uh, for you until 15 years has come, then you get that cash back and it costs you absolutely nothing as a buyer. We can do this because the seller uh, is putting aside a little percentage to buy mahogany trees, which we buy back the 15th years, giving you that kind of money. We have another company called Trees for Cars. And the same thing, Jack, if every time you buy a car, you can go online, apply to this uh, system, and 15 years ahead, you get 20% of the price of the car cash. It's saved for you for 15 years. And that is also because that uh, the seller of the car sets aside a small percentage to, to pay you this by buying trees. And we have another company called uh, Trees for Shopping. And can you imagine, everything you shop, online, whether it's food, uh, clothing, uh, it can be a PC for your computers, telephones, anything you can buy online. 15 years later, of all the things you have bought the whole year, would be paid cash back to you the 15th years. And that's because our partner, the one you buy from, set aside a small percentage and buy trees. And when they mature, you get the profit for those trees. So that's what we're doing. And in fact, uh, our company in Kenya, it's an award-winning and uh, the most respected company in forestry business in Kenya, Veda Globe Forestry, take care of the trees for 15 years and they buy them back at the price equal to those uh, money that you can get, 20%. So that is what we are doing and, uh, and we hope that many people can join us with that in order to eradicate poverty in uh, corruption in Africa. And we call that actually making money by doing good, which is what everybody should. I agree. I agree. I'm going to ask you for a short question because we're running a short answer because we're running out of time. You've been phenomenally successful. Obviously, all these things you're doing are pretty impressive. What do you attribute your phenomenal success to? Well, I think it's uh, that uh, the first thing I found out when I was doing business is that you should not um, do business, start business for money's sakes alone. Mm -hmm. When you really have something that you're passionate about and that you can't live without doing. Uh, like I said, my wife and me, whatever, even if we didn't get any money at all, uh, just barely surviving, we will still do it until our dying day. So if you have passion for something and you really like it, that's when you are uh, successful. And that's why I think we are successful. We have mm -hmm. no end. It's going on. I'll never, ever finish more than the foundation of my work. I'll never see the re reap uh, of the harvest, but that other people will do in years to come. Sure. So similar question. Here you are. Uh, looking back to the guy who just started out, what advice would you give your younger you if you had a couple pieces of advice to give him? Well, I think that uh, first and foremost, uh, you must run your own life and uh, learn the lesson on what to do. And, uh, and, and like I just said also, I think the most important is that you want to do it for a cause. 
uh, you have more motivation. Life is tough and if you just work for money or just want to do some business because some other people is doing it, whatever, uh, when you hit the brick wall, you don't have strength enough to stand by regardless. If you are passionate about it, you really have to do it regardless. There's nothing that's going to stop you then you really are motivated. And I think that that's what I didn't know to start with. Sure. I was trying all kinds of products. I had been uh, into so many different kinds of businesses, but there's always another one that looks better and you're motivated to go towards that one. But don't. Stick to something that you love to do, that you're good at or you're passionate about. Then your success is granted. So if people want to learn more about your companies, your projects, you, where do they go? Where do they get information? Well, it depends on, I have to say that uh, if they want to help us doing good and making money, mm -hmm. uh, then we have many websites. Uh, we have treesforcars.com, we have treesforrealestate.com, we have treesforshopping.com, and it, it, we have betterglobe.com. But I think that the best one to enter is betterglobegroup.com, because from that side, you can enter any other website that you want to take part of. So uh, we are happy to have anybody who wants to help us doing good in Africa, they are all welcome. Very good. Betterglobegroup.com. That's right. Well, you're, you're a force of nature. I'm really glad I had this little bit of time with you. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you too, really Jack. I really appreciate nice it. Nice to meet you. The rest of you, stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages.